just for the public to understand, when you retire, there will be two changes actually in the first division. It's not just you, right? So this yes. is important for the future of this particular case. Yes. So you will be replaced by um, who you say is Commissioner Inting, more senior, but yes. you see um, 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 Commissioner Cosqueo is also going to be replaced. Yes, presiding of the second division. So he will not be able to vote on this case. You see, so there are two of you technically who will you know, maybe, not be maybe able they to... maybe they suspect that Commissioner Casqueo will also DQ. Mm. That's why you see I have to go out to come out in the public and 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 uh, inform the people of what's happening inside Comilet because there's interference and they're using Perolino as their uh, what as their soldier. You see, two of us can who move. is who is replacing Casqueo? Uh, there, there's a short list already. I was uh, okay. informed this already. And I hope the president really uh, appoints, you know, uh, uh, in the quality of, let's say, Commissioner Bulay, who was a former uh, city prosecutor of Manila, who has practiced law for many years. Because see, we half of our work is judicial. Eh? It's judicial. We decide on cases. I hope the president really uh, uh, appoints uh, uh, good lawyers, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, former judges, former justices, okay. former All right. practicing lawyers. Not like Perolino. Perolino, what? He just studied law and uh, wala naman ako dun sa mga taong nag-aaral kayo na naghihirap kayo, nag-aaral kayo sa gabi, etc. Pero hindi kayo nag-commissioner eh. Siya eh. Nag-ambisyon siya mag-commissioner. Hindi naman siya marunong magsulat ng desisyon. Tapos kayo, kaya madali siyang influensya. Dahil may patron siya. May patron siya. Kasi kung practicing lawyer ka, kahit inappoint ka ng presidente, may mga basic-basic code ka dyan eh. Wala kang patron, nobody can really tell you paano mo gawin yung decision na yan unless nabayaran ka, di ba? Kasi yung presidente sino ulit-ulit na ni Salpanelo na in, the president hindi nakikialam dito, magagalit siya. Pag okay. sinabi niyo na it, it siya nag-utos sa inyo dyan. Wala! Okay. wala Commissioner, po, just eh. quickly, have you... Uh, commissioner, is weak. Oh. Okay, wait, Commissioner, have you no fear whatsoever that after everything you've said about Commissioner Ferolino, you could be sued for libel? I mean, and defaming her reputation or <laughs> integrity? She should be afraid of me because I might file an impeachment complaint, complaint against her for violation of the anti gap and corrupt practices. Do not threatened me with libel suits because I was a professor of law and practicing lawyer for more than 25 years. You can sue me anywhere in the country. I have money to go around the country and campaign against your candidate. Sige. File a libel suit against me in Manila because that is the rule. If you so are you, thinking, you, you, are, you are thinking of uh, filing an impeachment case against her. I can. I can. Because this is already, you know, imagine you're the one now, huh, Karen, scoop ka. You're the one who really now uh, pointed us to the fact that if Commissioner Casqueo can no longer vote, that's yeah. what alam nila na si Casqueo at Commissioner Casqueo ay hindi sila sure na hindi DQ. Oh, so to knock out both our votes, hindi nga ilalabas. Oh, eh, oh ngayon malala na, two of us na cannot vote. Oh, galing-galing talaga ni Karen Dabila. No, okay. Ma'am, let's not make this about me. But moving forward, can I please talk about the side of the Marcos camp? Let me read you the statement. This is important in the spirit of fairness. Attorney Vic Rodriguez had a good argument and he said, on the issue of moral turpitude, the filing of a fraudulent return with the intent to evade mm -hmm. taxes was, let me finish, considered a crime in war involving moral turpitude, but that entails, number one, willfulness and fraudulent intent. But he claims that's not the same and cannot be said for failure to file a return. Mm. So, no. yun, kumbaga... No. Ang, ang problema sa abogado ni Bumbong Marcos, akala niya magaling pa siya sa akin eh. Ano bang year ka na-graduate dyan sa Ateneo, ha? Ang dami na magaling dyan sa Ateneo. O ngayon, sagutin kita. Hindi pa ba willful yan? Eh, four times na hindi nag-file ng ITR, gobernador, pasano ba siya tulog? Ang dami niya accountant? Oo. Oh. Tapos, nung na-convict yung kliyente mo sa regional transport, hindi pa nag-file ng fine? Hindi ba yan willful? 
Is that not uh, is that not the uh, acts of uh, somebody who has a weak moral fiber or at least a spoiled brat? Na uh, spoiled brat. Yeah, I mean, will I pay? I'm the son of the president. Chuchu. Well, ganyan ang attitude niya. Eh, ngayon, convicted siya. Hindi pa din siya nagbayad ng fine? Oh, eh, ba't hindi kayo nagbayad ng fine? Kasi, hindi niyo mapipilit yung kliyente niyo na magfirma doon sa court na magbayad na kayo ng fine? Oh, batang mali, tanungin mo. Masama ba yan? Nako, bad ba yan? O oh, good? Ay, bad yan, tita. Four years siya may kinuha doon. Nagbayad, nag-receive siya ng salary niya. Hindi siya nagbalik ng tax niya. Oh, eh kung may multa, nak, ikaw, ikaw. Oh, hindi nagbayad ng multa, hindi ba yan bad? Oh, good ba yan bad? Oh, alam nyo, wag nyo anuin ng mga tao sa mga technical-technical nyo. At sa technical man, wala kayong Supreme Court decision in your favor. Yung Republic Marcos Marcos na once lang di siya napahin ng ITR as state administrator ng ng Marcos. Obiter mm. yun! Obiter! Mm. Ngayon, alam mo ba? At ano yung Jekes ko, ano ibig sabihin ng Obiter? O, mag-aaral ka muna dyan. Veteran the accountant. So, there's, na, uh, there uh, is uh, uh, there's a precedent that you are so mentioning a specific cause. O, kung specific case. Case. O, once lang niya ginawa. Ah, baka sabihin ko pa, ah, baka kasi na umalis na sila eh, na people power sila eh. So, 85 lang. Hindi, 82, 83, 84, 85. Saan siya? Eh, absentee governor nga siya eh. Sabi nung isang din doon, absentee. Nasaan siya? Ba't di siya nag-file ng income tax niya? Oh, just because anak ka ng presidente, hindi ka mag-file. Ako, with more reason, kung anak ako ng presidente, mag-comply ako sa batas, di ba? Ang manala talaga, hindi pa nagbayad ng fine. Okay, so, one may argue, if this was a crime involving moral turpitude, why was that? Why was that? Why was that? Okay, but why was Bongbong Marcos, frankly, he was a senator. Number two, he was allowed to run for vice president. Because, so, Karen, nobody filed a case against him before. They did not find out. They only found out now. Oh, talo nga siya sa protest eh. What makes him think mananalo siya sa Supreme Court? Madidikyo yan si Bongbong Marcos sa Supreme Court. Pag hindi siya nag-substitute sa before May 9 of noon, madidikyo siya sa May 10, hindi siya makaupo. The vice president-elect will sit kahit manalo pa siya at nag, what do you call this, nagsumpa na siya, matatanggal pa rin siya ng Supreme Court. Yung vice president-elect pa rin ang oopo. So, gamitin niyo nga mga kukunat niyo, yung mga abogado kayo, okay. magaling pa kayo sa akin ha. Kaya nagtatagalog na ako dito dahil nag-practice ako ba. Kaya, you know, in English, uh, hindi klaro sa tao. Tagalogin natin. Four times, hindi nag nag-file ng ITR. Ibig sabihin, hindi nagbayad. Hindi lang hindi nag-file, hindi nagbayad. Kasi yung resibo niya na pinakita sa akin, sa sa hearing ko namin, ay eh, resibo niya, Xerox. Hmm. At nakalagay pa doon, lease rental. Ano ba yan? Xerox na nga eh, lease rental pa. O, oh, hindi validated ng teller sa baba. Sabi ng abogado niya, mag let's submit a certified through kabes. It's okay. You have three days to submit that. Okay. Oh, All right. Oh, Commissioner. Ano ang yung binayad na tax? Ano sinasabi ni Rodriguez na hindi yung non-filing kundi non-payment? Hindi eh, nga nagbayad ng tax yung, yung kliyente mo eh ulit-ulit. Si Rox nga ang ebidensya nyo eh. Okay. So, hindi, Commissioner. Oh, okay, si Rox mo nga yung pera. Bumili ka ng Commissioner. Binayad, All right. Tindaman. Okay. Commissioner, we don't have enough time but my last question for you is this. You will go to the Comelec tomorrow. You are retiring tomorrow. In full strength, in my robes, I will go to the Comelec because there's an in bank uh, uh, ceremony. Oh, in full splendor and honor, I will retire tomorrow. And let's see if Commissioner Perolino will be there. But after your retirement, what will you do? What are oh, your plans? Me. I'm so busy. I'm so intelligent. I'm so busy. I okay. finished my book on election law. My local government code textbook is in UP Press right now. I will I will renovate the mausoleum of my parents. I will go around the country explaining my book. Ayan, ginalit nyo na ako eh. By Friday, I have billboards na in Metro Manila. So are you saying you will proactively campaign? No, Are you saying you will proactively campaign against Marcos? No, no. I will say this is my vote. I will explain okay. to you why I did you did. 
I, I will have billboards in Metro Manila starting this weekend that says, labanan ng mali, labanan ng masasama. O, ayan, ginanit niya ako eh. Oh. And who will be spending for this? I mean, do you, somebody might throw this accusation that you have your own backer. Is there a political political group no, no, backing you up? Wala, wala ba akong pera magpatayo ng mga billboard? Ha? Ano ba ako? Wala ba akong pera? Pobre ba ako? <laughs> okay. Kayo itong, kayo itong baka binayaran kayo eh. Kaya nga sabi ko, sinuhulan. Kung hindi kayo sinuhulan, di ilabas nyo. Ah, okay. ano tayo usapan? Ilabas lang niya. Sasabihin ko, I'm very sorry. I apologize for everything I said. Bubo. Okay. Kaya ba kayo mag-retire? Kasi talaga. Ang dinig okay. dito yung boto niya. Anong boto? Alam ko. Hindi nila alam anong boto ni Commissioner Casqueo. Kaya ganyan. Eh. Dalawa na kami. Hindi makaboto. Mm, dalawa po kayo. Oo. Lumabas ngayon na hindi makakaboto. Dalawa po kayo. Last question. What do you believe is your best legacy or your legacy um, in Comelec service? Sorry? Ano po ang legacy ni Commissioner Guanzon? Sa Ay, ano po. <laughs> Sabi, just sabi, quickly, Mama, I don't have time, but just to wrap up, yeah, yeah. what are you most proud of? Before so, we... I raised the bar of for excellence dyan sa mga lawyers, lalo na sa law department. Ever since I was commissioner, they had to study because they cannot be, you know, they cannot, uh, you know, my memory is very long. Uh, and the number two, in gender and development then programs, na institutionalized na ano. When I arrived there, only 3% of the budget was being used for gender. Now when I retire, it's around 75. It's uh, already used for uh, gender-related projects. The overseas voting uh, reforms are there also. They are there. And then uh, I am retiring with zero backlog except this Marcos case. Eh, but it's not mine naman. Dahil hindi naman ako punente. Right now, I only have 53 resolutions to sign and I will sign them over the weekend and I will submit okay. on Wednesday, which is my last day. Sino commissioner dyan makasabi nag zero backlog siya? Oh, hmm. sige nga. You correct All right. me. Oh. On that note, Commissioner Rowena Guanzon, thank you so much for being on Head Start the day before you retire. Much appreciated. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Karen. Thank you.